Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Fitzgerald's Jeep in Palm Harbor, Florida, and we have a redesigned, slightly redesigned Jeep Cherokee for you. This is a 2019 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. So let's talk a little bit about Jeep. Jeep has been around for so many decades, really associated with the Wrangler, but through the years, there's been a spin-off of other vehicles, especially the Cherokee. Over time, the Cherokee has adapted to many different situations in the car industry because the SUV segment has totally changed. What's cool about this one is that being a Trailhawk, this is specific for those of you who want to do some off-roading with your Jeep Cherokee rather than going with, say, a Jeep Cherokee Grand uh, Limited or something like that. This one is more entail to what you're looking for. And what's nice is for 2019, they took the front end, which many people thought was polarizing, and they kind of reshaped it, redesigned it to be something that would say, hey, wow, look at that. I want to park that in my driveway. So let's go ahead, dive into this 2019 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. So right off the bat, we could see the changes that they did with the headlight design. I love the way it's blacked out inside of the actual housing. You got your LED, um, daytime running lamps, you have some very, very small fog lamps. Now there's a lot of flat black plastic here, but you do have these powder coated metal tow hooks. Also, I know many of you are wondering, well, what type of body protection do we have underneath? Now there's a lot of plastic, but if you reach, you do eventually hit some metal on the belly pan to help protect the oil pan and the inner bits that are underneath that chassis while you're going off-road. We do have the seven vertical grill, just like you find on all the other Jeep products. The Jeep logo, proudly stamped on the front hood. I am gonna zonk the emblem. I wish that it was actually embossed into the hood. I'm not the biggest fan of emblems when they just stick the letters on there. You do get a nice center area that's been flat black treated to really give the front end uh, you know, to cut up the color, especially with this white. I am gonna zonk it though. I wish there was some type of functional heat extractor on the top of this hood where the flat black portion is because I really think that it would just add not only to the functionality of a heat extractor, but also the looks as well. Now, as we come around, we have a very tasteful 17 inch off-road style wheel, flat black. I love the Firestone way, raised white letter tires. I'm gonna have Tom kind of zoom in and show you some of the inner bits of the suspension with the springs and whatnot. Like I said, this one is sitting 8.7 inches off the ground. That's gonna give you some nice ground clearance, plus that belly pan that's far underneath, that's metal, to give you the protection that you need. I like the little extra badging, trail rated. Of course, it's gonna be four by four. Nice flat gray on the mirrors. As we go into the actual side, you have your Cherokee emblem on the side flat black on the lower sill this is going to help take the beating i also really like what they did with the fender treatment so as it comes down it flares out as it goes into the door panel nice touch color match door handles roof rails are going to be that same nice flat metallic gray color you could obviously put your crossbars get your kayaks up there your mountain bike whatever you want to put up there your basket to load a bunch of stuff to go camping as we work our way back Nice size rear quarter window, gives it a very nice shape overall. And I even like this body line that's in the side of the car here. The way it starts by the front fender and kind of just curves down and fades away. Very, very clean. As we get to the tail end of the business, you could clearly see just how high this Cherokee tra uh, Trailhawk sits. You have a very low roof spoiler. I am gonna zonk that antenna though. They need to go to a shark fin style. That rubber antenna is just not working anymore in 2019. Really digging the taillights. Very unique design, LED lighting down here for the taillights, a mixture of some halogen in there. And then as we drop our way down, you can see this one has a nice tote package hookup. You have all your connectivity. My only worry is, is dirt gonna collect in this area where you have all your hookups, but you have another powder coated tow hook in the back. And I'm happy to say that there's actual functional real exhaust real metal out the back, one on each side, gives it a nice look with that 4x4 logo. Why don't we pop the hood and see what we're working with power-wise with this 2019 Cherokee Trailhawk. All right, guys, we have the hood pop. So interesting how, like on many other Jeeps, you lift up the hood, that whole front grill area 
is going with the hood. You can see the Jeep identity that they kind of embossed right here in the plastic. I like the little Easter eggs that Jeep does. There she is underneath the hood. That is an all new two liter turbocharged engine. So the standard four cylinder engine, optional V6 are joined by this engine. You're looking at 270 horsepower, 295 pound feet of torque. Obviously, like I said, this is four wheel drive. You could clearly see the turbo underneath the hood nicely placed. If you're a car person, I don't care if it's a Jeep, whatever, it's nice to see those inner bits. Here's another thing I wanna show you before we sign off on this engine compartment is as we swing around, remember how I told you about Easter eggs? Check out the World War II Willys Jeep there. That right there is another one of the Easter eggs in the base of the windshield. But that's something that I really dig with Jeep. You know, they like to tie in that culture that was created from their vehicles. But what's really nice about this, you pop the hood, there's your engine. You have three different engine choices, plus you're ready for the off-road. But let's go ahead, fire it up, and see what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the 2019 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. I know a lot of you are saying, well, Joe, I'm really digging the design. I'm glad that they fixed up the front end of the business there. What's the price on this one? The price on this one, MSRP, is $33,000 and some change. Let's see what you get to the door panels. Now, there's a lot of dark material, but you know what? It's soft, and I really am digging the armrest with the red contrast stitching. Very, very nice touch. Plenty of space down there for some water bottles and soda cans and whatnot as you're doing your off-roading on your busy day. As we transfer from the door panel to the dash, very soft material. You can see I'm glad they brought in that red contrast stitching. Watch this. Nice little compartment in here uh, to put glasses or whatever you need right there. Nicely placed. As we pan down, this is an 8.4 inch infotainment screen. Love the size, love the fonts. Watch this. You go into climate, look how clear everything is. You could adjust your AC all that through these controls. Of course, you're gonna have Apple CarPlay. Of course, you're gonna have Android Auto. You go into your apps, it's got all your apps in there, settings, media, lots of different functionality there. As we work our way down, you have your actual um, physical AC controls. You have your radio controls very easily set up. And then on the center console, here's where the magic happens. So you have your USB, you got your aux, you got a 12 volt, a nice little cubby here, but then you have this dial with buttons on it for putting the car, the vehicle into four wheel drive and also different drive modes, auto, snow, sport, sand and mud, and rock. Very smart to have that kind of technology. This is gonna be controlling that eight speed automatic transmission. I like the size of it for sure. They really definitely made it big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Leather on the boot, red contrast stitching, and you have your electric e-brake, two cup holders. I know a lot of people are asking, what do the key fobs look like? There is your key fob for the Jeep Cherokee. Very simple, very to the point. I'm gonna zonk it though, fake buttons on a key fob. So something to think about that they do have fake buttons. Armrest, I love the height. It's leather, it's got the stitching, great style. Open it up, another USB and more connectivity with another 12 volt. Close it up and then these seats. I love the way they look, I love the way they feel. I love how comfortable they are. They got the Trailhawk logo. Uh, embroidery. They got the red stitching, this really cool fabric going on with a design. Love the style. On the driver's side, you have full electric assist. This one is manual for the passenger, but very, very comfortable. I'm six feet tall, plenty of headroom, and I think it was super smart to go with a lighter headliner in here, especially because there's no sunroof. But why don't you come on over to the business end, and I'll show you what's going on behind the wheel of this Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. All right, guys, business end behind the wheel. One thing I wish that this had that I am gonna zonk is the size of the dead pedal. It's a very, very small dead pedal, doesn't have a lot of grip. And to be honest with you, if you're asking, well, Joe, why, what's the big deal behind this? Think about it. If you're going off-road, you're gonna wanna be able to support yourself. And I wish that it just, I have a, a size 12 shoe. You could see how I, I don't have a lot of real estate down there. Wheel. I like the thickness of it. It's just not the most attractive of wheels. The horn button really isn't doing anything for me. You have the Jeep logo fake buttons on the steering wheel. So that's new for me. I don't see many vehicles with the fake buttons on the steering wheel, but everything else is very easy to get to. The dash though 
is a thing to really behold. I love the analog speedometer, the analog tech, and then that four inch TFT screen in the center. You can get through all sorts of different information as you scroll through, very nicely done. Clear, clear crisp graphics on it, has your uh, fuel gauge, your cooling gauge, your range, all that good stuff. But why don't we go ahead, check out the back seat and how see how comfortable your passenger can be as you're going off-road. All right guys, back seat time in your Cherokee Trailhawk. Very, very comfortable. Seats have the same feel, same look, same style as the front. I like the way everything is wrapped in leather. Smart that they cut out the back to give you a little bit extra knee and leg room. You have a little command center. Now these AC vents don't look like much, but they bring nice cool air to the back seat. The best part though, is the amount of connectivity you have back here. Check all that out. Very nicely done with a home power source. I think that is super smart. Seats are great, lots of leg room, lots of headroom, which is wonderful back here as well. And then armrests, that's how you do it. It's got the horizontal cup holders, plenty of nice soft space. Why don't we go ahead though, see what kind of goodies we could put in the cargo area. All right guys, time to open up the back, see what kind of off-road goodies we could put. No electric assist, you just lift it up, opens up, nice amount of room in here. It is sitting up higher because the vehicle sits higher. Now those seats are gonna do the 60-40 split, which I'm gonna go ahead and show you so you get the full effect of what it's like to own one of these. I'm gonna reach across. There you go. Pretty flat. I just, the reason why I'm gonna zonk it is based off of what you just saw. I wish that they had some type of button or strap system to where I could just drop those seats, but at least you have a nice power source back here. You got little cubbies in the side. If you wanna know what's underneath here, not storage, you actually have a nice full size spare. So that's another thing that you see less and less on vehicles nowadays, but it does have a little bit of storage on the sides of the tire. When you're done, you close it on up. But if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go ahead and take this for a spin. All right, guys, we're inside the 2019 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. Great visibility, very comfortable seat. Love the steering wheel size. And overall, you know, it's, it's actually surprising because when you compare this to other uh, small SUVs in the industry, there's really not many that can go up against this particular vehicle being the Trailhawk, especially with uh, the four-wheel drive system and the crawl features and all that other good stuff. But it rides really comfortably, very smooth, I like the gauge layout, and I'm really digging overall what Jeep is doing with their infotainment system. It's very easy to use, very easy to, to see at a glance, and uh, I, I think that's a very smart move in the direction that they're going. As you can see, lots of uh, workday traffic here, but uh, just enough extra height uh, to, to really give you a great view out the front window. All right, guys, little acceleration test on throttle. Transmission drops down. Remember, this is that turbocharged four-cylinder. It's got just enough power. Uh, are you going to go win an SUV drag race? No. But the purpose of this is to take it off-road. I like looking out over that hood, seeing the flat black center area that I pointed out earlier. Just gives it a little differentiation between this and other um, Jeep products or SUVs on the road and I think it was smart that they restyled the front end um, made it look a, a little bit more rugged in a tasteful way but very comfortable I'm, I'm really digging the seating position I really have it perfect for my body I'm six feet tall lots of room up here for sure let's see how the brakes feel nice feedback nice firm pedal good feedback come to a stop gonna roll on out on throttle just what you come to expect from a vehicle that has this kind of performance from that engine setup but the best part is is that when the trail gets rough when other vehicles are pulling over and turning around and getting stuck you keep on going I would advise maybe being the better person and helping them out. But once you're done pulling them out, then you can get to your destination, that secret spot that you know is perfect for putting kayaks in away from everybody or a perfect place to do some camping. This vehicle will get you there. 
But hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel for the Trailhawk. Uh, I think that it's an option that for people that want a particular SUV for the kind of lifestyle that this vehicle is directed towards, I think this hits the nail right on the head. But we're gonna go ahead, wrap this one up, get back to Fitzgerald Jeep, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, been a wonderful day here at Fitzgerald Jeep. Definitely gotta thank Daniel and everybody else here getting us access to these vehicles that they know you want to see. If this is the stuff you want to continue to keep seeing on Rady's Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Rady's Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Rady's Rise merch. Got to give a big huge shout out to Big Guns McGee, Tom Moshner, getting every angle of this. Check him out on Instagram, at Photos. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.